In this video, I'll be looking at modeling road. So, so now we've been focusing on the buildings, but now we'll change our attention to the roads. So if uh, we switch to um, our city engine, and um, we have here our basic uh, view where we have our buildings and we have the auto photo so let's replace these roads from the auto photo with some modeled roads in order to do that i'll need a new rule pack and i'll just use this opportunity to talk something about these rule systems so we have um, shown that we can download rules from um, from the portal by switching to rule packs and then searching for something here you have to be really aware you can see there are no less than three rules called paris and um and it's a bit of a trick to find out which is the newest and so on and who is responsible for them you can say file proper preview and it will uh give you a date so this one is from 2015 and this one is uh a 2018 latest update so that's apparently newer and this one is uh, a 2014 so in this case i'll probably choose this paris here um it's a bit um messy to say at least um and they're all from SV really so it's it's difficult and our way to download rules is that if you go to the help section there's this download tutorials and examples and here there's a lot of working examples and many of these rules they come from these examples so um, there is for instance this complete street that we'll be working with and i also think there's a paris version here so you want to be quite sure that you've got the news parish version you can download it from here and you can also what we want to do is that we want to download these complete street data set here um, there's also a lot of tutorials that um, are the data that goes with the tutorials that you can also find on the on this help so Basically, you choose the one you want here, and then you say download. And it will then start the downloading process. That will take some while. Um, the tutorials are also available here. So these are the text elements. So open a web browser, and you can run through the tutorials. So while um, this uh, downloads, I'll just pause the video. So um, once you have... Uh, download the data or this example you should have a new project in your project in your navigator so we, this is our working project this is where i put all my different rules in that i've downloaded from the portal and now we have this um, extra rule called complete street and if you've downloaded the parish, you will also have a parish one here. Um, this one has a little readme text. It basically says that uh, that you have to be sure that you have um, your updated your your different rule sets. So um, it's uh, important for this rule to work that you um, ensure that you go to your file manager and then there is this manage svlib and here we have different elements and in this case basically select all of them and make sure that you have updated okay in this case i have all of them updated but you just press the update button because otherwise you might get some strange looking boxes where it says um resource not available or something like it um and um that's a bit, a bit annoying so make sure that you have the latest versions of all of the 
things updated. So let's press the update button. Good. So now we're basically ready to do our work. Um, I'll just uh, navigate this to uh, something uh, seen from above and um, zoom the bit out. Okay, so something like this. Um, close this one. Um, first of all, uh, we need to create some new rules and we have this buildings they are floating around so i'll just uh, remove those so i'll just turn them off and um, we now need to add some uh, basically i'll just focus on on this part of the road so we'll need to look a bit of how roads are modeled so you can do the freehand road this let's find our road networks selected up here and um, we have the freehand and we have this uh, polygonian which basically click. So I'll uh, zoom in so I get the little red square to indicating that I've connected to a node. And then I will draw a line, place a new node, place a new node. So that was that road. And they have a road coming up from down here. Something like that. And let's also make this road coming from here. So, um, that's our basic roads. So remember that when I talked about this, you, a road consists of two elements. So if I go up and turn off my shapes, you can see this is my network. So this is the center of my graph. And from that, it will then create shapes that are then the basis for the modeling. There's some important things here. So how how does it create these shapes uh, and um, how do we make those match the basic road layout so if we um, first of all I think I need to move this little so I can use this edit street tool and click here so this was is this is the center point so I can just change that a bit also note here that I have a street width indicating. So this street has a width of 24. So let's say if I now select both that line and this line, and say, okay, they have clearly a width of more than 24. Let's say they are about 30 meters. And they also have a pedestrian sidewalk here, which is, let's say, bit wider uh let's set them to five um you can also do this a bit more some graphically so if you um are in this editing tool and select this road you can see there are some different handles the yellow one that's the node the screen one is how the road the direction that the road leaves that node in and these green ones indicate so uh, the width of the complete element can be modified here and that really consists of two things so this is the width of the road itself and how it's distributed around the center line and the other two handles are then the sidewalk that you can change. So if I modify this one a bit, needs to be modified. I can increase the width here. I can say that it's probably leaving a bit like this. And I need to increase the lane width. Okay. 
So for each of the elements, I can go in and modify how the road behaves. So this is the basic. This is really important. So this one is really bad. Uh, so in this case, I really want to make the road come a bit in from over here. Change that, move that point also. And uh, increase the width. There's a tool for fitting the roads to shapes, but that can't really be used in these open spaces here. So um, once I've got my shapes in place, what I only need to do is I need to model these shapes. So I have to assign rules to them and I have to set the parameters of the rules. So change to my selection tool and um, there's um, there's two types of selection you have in in um, in CD Engine. There's a uh, drag from uh, from right to left that selects everything, even though it's partly outside. And there's a drag from right from from left to right, which only selects what's completely within. So if you drag from left to right, only things that are completely within your selection are selected. Just like in QGIS, if you dry, drag from right to left, everything that is just within will be selected. So I just want to work with this road here um, just to make it relatively simple for the video. So now I have selected it. First thing I want is I want to assign my rules to it. So I have this from my new project this complete street down on the rules there is a street complete and i'll just drag them in so note that i both have the road and the sidewalk selected when i did this so this done i still got my segment which defines the physical width of my road and this is one of those things that is really important with this rule set to understand that we can't go outside the limits of our physical road width so we set in the shapes based from our segments we set the physical area that we, we can apply our rules to and then all of the areas have to sum up. And this is really one of those things that you have to be aware of, that the areas have to sum up. Otherwise, you'll get some strange effects. So, are these selected? I now go to my shapes. I'll have a lot of different um, parameters for my rules. And I'll just um, hide myself away in a moment. So, um, because we'll be needing all our space here. So, first of all, to understand this rule, it's important to see that it consists of some blocks. So we have some road layout. And underneath road layout, we have some center section. So what's going in the middle. And then we have some uh, multimodal, so bus lanes and so that like that and we have rule sets for bike lanes bike so these are all under this multimodal and then we have sidewalk parameters to set for the sidewalk and we have elements for setting our population so our number of cars we have and bicycles and whatever and finally they are reporting that is for scenarios so let's let's stick with these things so so up here in our beginning we have our different uh, elements so one thing that might be useful to start with is that it has this one flag empty space 
So if that's, it's good for when we're doing our rules that to understand how heavy some space left, because that's our problem. Our lane distribution says that that space says how many rows in each direction. So how many lanes? So if I change this, we will see that I now only have two lanes going this direction and the rest of the lanes are going the other direction. So 0 0.5 is the same number of lanes in each direction. Our lane width, can again, this is the width of the lanes. And if I change that, I'll have to make sure that it is something that will be divided up. We can set our center line color to white, it's in Danish. Speed limit is calculated on the width. So in this case, that's far too much. So this is probably is in miles per hour. It's something to do with signposting and things like that. So I want stop signs. So which type of marking do I want at the minutes end and beginning? These are of that segment. So I think I want arrows on all roads. And I want that also in this end apparently. So now I have arrows on my roads. I can set the width of uh, my Pedestrian, maybe that's a wee bit too small. Uh, increase the width. Um, and do I want parking? So if I want pa parking lots that are located, I can have them parallel or whatever. I uh, don't want that. Both sides, left and right. <clears throat> Now let's um, make this road completely different. So I think let's try and work with this center section. So I will uh, say this is going to be a boulevard. And I will take uh, 10 meters of the road for my center boulevard. And uh, <clears throat> so starts by doing like this. So what do I want in my boulevard and what do all of these things? So I have a walk. Um, this walk is around the trees. There's a grass area. How much room do I want for the walk? And how do I want these? I think I want to plant on the outside. And I want a walk width for, uh, let's say, one meter on each side. Good. <clears throat> so now I've got a a one meter walk on the inside here. I um, don't want uh, normal lanes in here. I think I want bicycle uh, paths. Okay. And I want this with a seven. Okay, this has a inside boulevard, bit, which is uh, really wide here. If I reduce this one to two meters, I get a bit more space. So that's my bicycle path. So maybe two meters is not enough. Well, I set, let's set that up to four. So this is the center part where I have my bicycles. And then I have my remaining part of those 10 meters. So I got six meters, that's three meters in each side where I have a, uh, walk of uh, my trees over here and I had this walk and maybe I should increase that's three meters I think I'll increase the walk to two meters so I've got a bit more walking on less plant uh, space <clears throat> Then I can add other parameters. So maybe we want, so the trees, uh, I don't know why they really love trees in this rule set. Uh, I'll just reduce these areas to one meter. 
uh, and then I'll space them up with 10 meters. No, that's a bit much. Or maybe this even uh, 15 meters. So they're spacing the trees out a bit. And um, let's add some bus stops. If we want bosses in the inside, let's see what we, why I'm doing this. I just want, I just put bus stops uh, in the center line. So there, there's a bus stop there. And do I want bike racks? Yeah. Do I want wayfinders? Nah. Um, we can also have some bitches. Uh, uh, that's far too. Let's space them up. 50 meters. So, um, of course, they're probably outside my view at the moment. So, um, lamp posts, whatever. Okay, do we want bus and whatever this is? is? I want some bus lanes and I want them uh, left side. So I want them out towards my boulevard element there. So now they match up with my bus stops. So I think I'm uh, pretty much set what I wanted to do. Uh, and I haven't got much left. I remember I flagged this uh, empty space up here. So um, that will be, there's a wee bit in here, but that's not. So I'll just get rid of that flagging. because I'm happy with my distribution of my roads. And you can see now it couldn't make three lanes in both. So it, it does its best to um, distribute space. So before I had, I think, five lanes in each direction. This Now I have three lanes going this direction. So two lanes going this direction and three that. But there's not enough room for having more. So it tries to use the space that we give it. Of course, I could reduce the size in here and then I could have more uh, room for my uh, for my lanes. So um, what I now want to do is I want to... Um, what do I want? My, more... I've got happy with this. Have I've got bike lanes. I could have added bike lanes to the side, but that's a bit much. Uh, I have my sidewalks. I just add some grass elements here. So grass, sure. Um, because then that also automatically adds trees, and. Um, Again, I don't want them to take up that much space. And I want them to be spaced by 50 meters. Um, so, got that now. That looks fine. Um, they have still a bit wide. I just want them one by one meter. So these are... So this is the one I want one meters, and then I want this one to be 15 meters. So um, this is what I wanted. So I've got my, um, my trees, I got whatever, I can have benches again here, I don't want that. Then I want to put some cars, populate this. Let's say we need 50 cars per kilometer, see how that looks. Okay, that's fine. Uh, mixed traffic, so how much is lawyers and whatever. Taxis, bus lanes. So I want some buses in my bus lanes. So but let's say, yep, gave me some buses. Uh, bicycles, being Denmark, let's fill it up with bicycles. 200 bicycles per kilometer. So they will fill in bicycles in the middle lane here and people 
I don't know why this is a percentage, but I don't, so I, let's go up to 100. So it has had to generate a lot of people here. And I think that's, um, so now I set up my, uh, my view of my road. So I'll just click out so it's not selected. So it looks a bit more, right? it's easier to see. And then I'll just uh, move in. So now I have this part of my roads visualized and I can bring back my buildings. And um, of course I haven't visualized set parameters for the other roads, but I wanted something that was a bit more reactive. So didn't want to do too much modeling, um, but I hope I demonstrated that um, we can uh, create also just like with our buildings, we can create um, well, more or less realistic um, atmospheres. We can change the type of the trees and we can also add our types of cars. If that's what you wanted. Um, and basically, um, I hope that this gave you some idea of this tool, it is a really complex tool. Um, so there is really, really, really a lot of um, elements that goes into this road modeling. Um, and um, it is the, the important thing is to understand these two, let's go back here. So understand that they are in this road section. So you have the road layout and then it comes the center section and how that's set up with a boulevard with cycle paths in it and uh, multi lanes, so the bus lanes. And if I wanted bike lanes in the side, that would be these bike lanes. Um, sidewalks, how they are set up. For all of them, if you don't have any, um, if you don't set your ground, nothing really happens. It's just a bit of a strange thing. In these rules, you have to set the ground first, then you can things can happen, um, and then population, and that's basically setting up this thing. Rem also remembering that the width of the road, the physical, the total width, is controlled by what we had in our. So if I could get that one there, our segment. So this is the segment element here. So that sets how this line the width is that's also the node by the way so that one is a node and it can be set to a uh, roundabout for instance so if you wanted to add a roundabout to your modeling you can do that and again there then you need to select this roundabout area and set its um, parameters also. So I'll, be, I'll just switch it back to a crossing. Takes up to. So there's lots of, of tricks to get you know, the hang of when you're doing your modeling of streets. Um, this is one of the more complex rules. And again, as I mentioned, make sure that before you do it, start, if you get these unavailable resources, Make sure that you have managed your SVLIP, selected everything and updated it. Otherwise, some of the trees or benches or something like that will not be there. So I really hope that um, this set you off in um, working with um, the road modeling tool so we can now model both buildings and roads and this way begin to create more or less um, realistic uh, visualizations of um, of changes and these are all our own changes so we this is not any longer anything that is based on what's there it's all model um, and that is um, the real strength of using city engine that if you really want to go from if you're working with QGIS we could 
type of visualize what was there already. But if you really want to visualize something that's not there, you'll probably need something like City Engine in order to get all of these visualization tools. So I hope you found uh, this um, video useful and I hope to see you in another video. So bye.